Today's Week 5 Mountain West Conference matchup has the Air Force Falcons coming into Laramie to take on the Cowboys. The Cowboys are 3-1 after last week's 66-50 victory in an offensive slugfest against the North Texas Mean Green. A look at the Mountain West Conference standings after Week 4. Wide receiver Alex Brown was named Mountain West Conference Offensive Player of the Week last week. The Cowboys currently have no players with any significant injuries on this week's injury report. This week's Top 25 Rankings The Cowboys individual stats through week four.
the Cowboys recruiting board after week four. And now, our Week 5 Mountain West Conference matchup as the 1-2 and two Air Force Falcons come into Laramie to take on the 3-1 and one Wyoming Cowboys. Welcome to Laramie, Wyoming, and one of the highest elevations you will find in all of college football. And it is home to the Wyoming Cowboys, and they have a taste for the spicy brown mustard. Today, we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Air Force Falcons, taking on the winners of three straight, the Wyoming Cowboys. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Cowboys will kick it off to get us underway. From inside the 10, here he comes. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Air Force's offense will take the first swing of the game. And when you have a quarterback like this guy, the entire offense feeds off of him, David. Oh, everybody feeds off of his energy, and the whole playbook's open because you can trust on him. He's dependable, Palmer. He's also one of those guys, if he gets in a good rhythm, watch out. This dude starts firing strikes. Running back goes in motion. Hard running there. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Now they'll face third and four in their first possession of the game. On the option. Now the toss. Shakes off the tackler. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. The Falcons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. Now on the move. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Line getting set on second down. They'll run the option. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Wide out in motion. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. A strike downfield. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. Going with the counter play here. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. To the air. It's Busha. Throws to the back. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. They'll come to the line for the eighth snap on this opening drive, facing a third and short. 
keeps the legs moving. Nice job to keep it himself, find the first down marker, and move the change for this offense. Ball is at the 35, it's first and 10. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Breaks the tackle. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They're about to get through their entire opening script of plays. This is the 11th play of the drive. Third down coming up. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the uprights. He missed it. Kicker tried to tack a few more on the scoreboard, guys. He couldn't do it. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show. For They've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. The misfire on the 49-yard field goal attempt sets him up with pretty good field position at the 32. On the move. Fights off a defender. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Less than a yard to go to pick up the first down. Wants to throw. It's Svoboda. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. He stopped quickly, but not before he has enough for the first down. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the bat. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. Here's the handoff. Plows through the defense. This running back just doesn't go down easily. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, yeah, you know what, let his talent do the rest. On second down, looking again to throw. Gets it out fast. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. And the Cowboys are rolling down the field. Out of the gun. The running back has it. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Back to pass, it's Svoboda. Quick strike complete. The Cowboys get it past the sticks. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Firing to the right, complete. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. They'll use the running game on first and goal. Gets it into the end zone, but wait a minute. We'll have to check out the laundry on the field. 
holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. And the Cowboys have it in scoring position on first and goal. Takes a snap, wants to throw. Working that left side now. Good throw and catch, takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. The thing I like about the slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route running. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry together. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. Let's it fly. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. They march 78 yards down the field, and they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. A 7-yard pickup. It'll be 2nd and 3. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll run the option. He just has a nose for those little crevices to be able to find space, and he picks up the first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And the Falcons will snap it on first and ten. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Offense gets set for second down. Goes to the option. And he's brought down after a nice game. They have declared their intentions on this drive, keeping it on the ground. It's first and ten again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Here comes the option. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Up and up and. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. The option look. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The Falcons line up to punt it away. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second.
Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. and They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Gets it out to the 38-yard line after picking up 10 on that one. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. He's going to pass. Fires to the right. Wide open downfield. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Another first down. Man, this, this, defense, this defense couldn't stop a nosebleed right now. It's that bad. Inside the 30 at the 29, it's a first down. From the shotgun, the inside give. He gets it across the 25 to the 24, give him five on the carry. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest, pound that rock. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. He's got his man. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback can throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. That's why they love to feed this senior running back. He'll find those extra yards. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Wyoming! Effective offense leading the way here and establishing this lead. And that's how you draw it up, right? You want to come out, be clicking early, get everything going. Way to get all the facets rolled. The defense right now on their heels. They have no answers. The offense doing whatever they want. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Fellas, a big time top 25 duel. Let's get right to the pictures. Notre Dame is trailing right now, but they are not out of this. I remember Rocket Ismail wake up the echoes all by himself. Let's see if this group can come back. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Louisville. We'll circle back if anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Devin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Now on first and 10 from the 27. Now on the option. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. On the option. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. Let's see what they do on third down. He'll ride his man on the option. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. And the Falcons are on the move.
That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. On the option. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Looking to throw, it's Boucher. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. The Falcons will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Kicks it high, and it's just hanging there as if it has helium in it. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact... Nothing but green ahead. Running inside the 20. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming. How efficient have they been as they extend this lead here in week five? Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defense all year long. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. They'll power it inside with the fullback. And he finds enough running room, and he's marked down at the 20. After the run, second and medium. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. Back to throw, it's Busha. Get it out on the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. And the Falcons come to the line with a new set of downs. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback in oh, his progression. Oh, oh, oh. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Now on second down. The gift to the fullback. Got room at the 35. Up near the 40-yard line, they'll mark it at the 39 to pick up a 15. On the option. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Flushed out of the pocket. Keeps it and gets past the chains. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. 
We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Nowhere to go, and not much to show for that one. The Falcons want to pick up the tempo. Scanning the field, it's Busha. And they're on him immediately. Down goes the quarterback. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And the Falcons will punt this one away. Here's the punt high into the air. Perhaps feeling that coverage comes at the 25. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. After that last explosive running play, David, why not just try it again, right? I mean, why not? Such a big, long, explosive run. You, you think, Jesse, maybe give it to him again? Or, or would you say, hey, keep it? Throw that thing out there. I, I think you keep it on the ground, David. Honestly, I was watching the offensive line. They were fired up after that long touchdown run. You know they just want to go back out there again and get some push. He's looking to throw it. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. He's looking to throw. Right down the middle. Got his man! He got loose, almost housed to finally drag down at the 32. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Quarterback run is part of their game plan. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Holds it in. And a confident throw and catch in there in the red zone at the 13. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now. Having given up multiple first downs on this drive, somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the bleed. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Makes his connection. Gets it into the end zone, but there's a flag down. We'll see if this one is coming back. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Quarterback stands alone, all wide receivers. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. He's got it. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. He's looking for an open man on second down. Working the middle, it's complete. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. From the gun, wants to pass. Pass falls incomplete, and there are still three seconds left. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. 
It's good. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. The Cowboys will boot it away to start the second half. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. They'll leave it with him. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The Falcons will punt it away on fourth down. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. No return coming. He'll call.
They'll get this drive started from their own 45-yard line. They'll give it to the back. Makes his man miss. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Looking to throw at Svoboda. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. They go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, he did everything he could to try to avoid all those defenders, but at the end, it's still a negative play. Tackle for loss. One defender, then the next one. The blitzing guy got a shot at him. Everybody had a shot. It took a while to get him down. Yeah, great effort by that defense. Not quitting on the play. Wants to throw on second down. Got his man quickly. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. That big pickup on what they call the drag route, but if you hit it on time, you can hit the turbo boosters. And you've got to be accurate on the throw, too, Reese. Nice job by the QB there, putting it out in front of his receiver to make an easy catch and then advance it. Fires to the middle. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And the Cowboys will try to convert on fourth down. They'll try to pick up the first. Touchdown, Wyoming! And the stomping has commenced. This guy just has a nose for the end zone, and you love his ability to find creases, use his speed in the open field, and go score. He's been really good for his offense early this year. That already his fifth rushing touchdown on the season. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. A lot of we are's inside that stadium today. Penn State is running away with things, and that offense looks unstoppable. They're up 14 over Illinois. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. They'll run the option. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. And the Falcons will send out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. A fair catch taken just... Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last drive. So this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. Looking to pass. It's Svoboda. Gets open down the middle. Finally brought down at the 31. It's a pickup of 15 yards on the play, and they've got a first down. 
Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And, they... and the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. How many problems does it cause for an offense when the D can get pressure from its nose tackle? Now he's usually a guy that sits in the middle in two gaps, and it's really hard to rush the passer, but really nice job using his hands, getting to the quarterback. When a nose tackle gets a sack, everybody gets excited because that guy doesn't get many of those. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air. Offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Got his man all by himself. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. Defense, what are we doing? You can't miss that guy. How are you going to leave the big fella wide open? You can't act like you didn't see him line up. You know where he is. You knew coming into the game, he's a weapon. That had to be a coverage bust. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You can't let the same guy beat you over and over and over again. You got to make adjustments. Sometimes you got to bring more guys in the box, more guys to the football, and make sure he's not the one who beat you. On the run, it's Svoboda. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! And the beatdown has ensued. I mean, the way this team has dominated this game, impressive to say the least. And it's cool now because you're kicking the credit of them so bad, you start to put the backups in and all them get to get juice and get to get some playing time, get some feel good. And the other side, well, they're just taking it right to the face. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there. you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Leaves it with the running back. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. The Falcons send out the punt unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Surprisingly makes a fair... The offense lining up for a first down play. Give to the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. When a running back has had as much success as this guy's had so far, listen, defense has got to cue in. They got to cue in to him. He's priority number one, number two, and number three. That's a good start to maybe turning this defensive effort around. And the pass to the sideline will pick up a short gain. Well, that toe-tap catch had a little style, but not much substance on that. No, the defense did a good job, too, using the sideline to their advantage. Using the sideline as a 12th man, there was nowhere for that receiver to go except get one foot down and get out. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. He's got an open man. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. 
that is going to drive this defensive coordinator nuts. A lot of DCs, they focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they are going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. He now has 108 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. I think a big key in this team's success today has been their ability to run the football. They've been able to just hand it off and go churn out yards. They've had this defense on their heels all game long. It's given them a big cushion in this game so far. Let's see if they can keep it up. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. Well, guys, so far, this has been a massive beatdown, and it would appear the biggest challenge is what kind of records can they set? second down and off to Jones got enough for the first down and wants more touchdown Cowboys and the punishment has been extended that one ought to give them firm control of this game and they have gotten things going here about to move to four and one man this has been a complete performance the defense has been lights out and the offense obviously just continues to pour it on this is what you call having a great day putting it all together offense defense complimentary football lining up to tack one more onto that lead and the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead about to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's not. Obliterates him still on the move. And the returner is stopped. Air Force has it back and the Falcon offense returns to the field. He'll start this drive firing. Finds a tight end. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline and you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. Got his man downfield. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. And the Falcons have it with a first and 10. They keep attacking through the air with the catch. It's Wilkerson. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. 
you just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first downs. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. They'll run the option. Just outside the red zone as they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. And this will be the ninth play of the drive goes to the option and he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop and now on second down for this offense pre-snap motion in the backfield and maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage but no more than that looks as if we have an injury on that last play and we'll take a break to check him out just outside the red zone at the 21 but it's third and long To the air, it's Holmes. Fires deep toward the end zone. And it was worth going for a chunk play, but the long pass is incomplete. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. This try will come from the left hash, and he'll try to curl it in from 38. Right down the boulevard, it's good. I wouldn't say they cut into the deficit. They sort of microscopically... Uh, edged off the deficit. Still a mountain to climb. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Just never had a chance. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Really good balance on that last drive. They mix it up all over the place, Jesse. Breaks a tackle, and he's got room. Can anyone catch him? The 20. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. How about the explosive play by this offense? Man, it's so nice to have guys you can hand the football off and just watch him work. Watch him do the rest, the speed, making big plays, breaking tackles. Man, is it nice to have an offense with a playmaker like that. The Cowboys trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. And the pummeling has started. They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves a day, and apparently their day's not over. They're gonna... They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Notre Dame is running away with this one today thanks to an offense that is more than waking up the echoes. They're up by 21 over Louisville. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Well, the defense came into this one knowing if they stop the pass, they win the game, and they have done that. Their guys have won one-on-one -on, -one on islands. They've been able to get to the quarterback. They've been mixing up their looks. They haven't even allowed 100 yards passing in this one, and that's why they are way ahead here in the fourth quarter. The back goes in motion. Looking to throw, it's Holmes. Throws for the tight end. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. The Falcons will try to pin them back with the punt. 
And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm. Some drops, just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. The give to the back. Oh, he dropped it! And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. I love those smashes where you can hear it up here, Reese. Goodness gracious, you can hear the contact. Such a big lick. The offensive guy doesn't hold on to the football. Huge momentum swing, big turnover. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short of the first down. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. He'll pull it on the read. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Yeah, and this offense, man, it's been a struggle bus. And they just, they haven't clicked yet. They haven't found what they're really, really good at. And I'll tell you this, it's later in the fourth quarter, later in the game, obviously. They need to start airing this thing out. we got to get back in this football game because I don't know if y'all realize this, but we're down by a lot. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner will be knocked down. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They coughed it up on that last drive, but the defense really bailed them out, holding them to a field goal, Jesse. Yeah, and I think the offense kind of got away from their identity a little bit on that last drive, David. They got to kind of get back to doing what they do. Yeah, and, and hold on to the football. I mean, defense just did their job. Stopped them, held them to a field goal, limited the damage. Now it's time for the offense to get the momentum going again. Few things on offense as reliable as a tough power back as he plows his way ahead to the 33. Yeah, and that's exactly what you want to do. Late in the ball game with the lead, establish the run, establish the physicality. And you know what helps? That clock up there, it continues to tick. So let's see if they choose to keep the ball on the ground and stay conservative and run that clock. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. They'll go to the fullback. And the Cowboys will move the sticks. Man, don't complicate things. Give it to the big fella. By the way, the fullback who blocks all the time, does all the dirty work, hand it to him, let him plow ahead, Palmer, and get that first down. Are we in a time warp? Like, what year is this? Is this 1995? We're heading off to fullbacks again. That's a play that is basically extinct now in college football, but I love it because it caught the defense off guard, able to get a nice one. There. And the defense down in this game, they just can't do anything to stop this offense at this point, David. Right now, they know they're going to be trying to run the football and try and ice the game, but there's nothing at this point it seems they can do. Yeah, and it's frustrating. I got to sell out, man. I got to bring as many guys to the line of scrimmage as I can. I got to find a way to get this ball back to my offense. The, the clock is not my friend, and them running the football is only going to run this thing out quicker. I got to find a way to make something happen, strip the football, do something. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten.
Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. A ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. To the ground to try to move the chains. At the 35, he's open. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Yeah, and this offense doing more of what they do. This, this is the number one offense in the country in first downs. They find a way to continue to move the football, run, pass, so much balance. This offense is so good. Well, this one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield, and they did splatter them, an absolutely dominating performance. I think you got to give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick. All three phases we saw, just spectacular football. No mental mistakes, David. You really can't play better than that. Nah, and it's, it's really fun to do this. Come out and just dominate opponents. Start from finish. Uh, nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. You're going to do you. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. And that's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no new significant injuries in today's game. Week 7's Mountain West Conference Showdown has the San Diego State Aztecs coming into Laramie to take on the Cowboys.